Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature set of copper pots and pans with your choice of glass or magic lids. Hope you enjoy. To start this one, I started with hole punches, but you can also use bound items from around your house, like uh, plastic bottle cap lids or resin cups, anything you have on hand. And then I cut out various shapes for my pots and pans. I'm using a copper paper here, but you can also go with silver or just a regular white cardstock that you can paint. Then I decided which ones I wanted to be pots and which ones I wanted to be pans. For the pans, I used small, slim, narrow sheets of paper, strips of paper. And for the pots, I used thicker strips of paper. I'm using super glue to secure these, but you can use whatever type of glue you'd like. I'm using super glue because it is a quick dry and also it doesn't leave any smudges or um, mess up the finish of the paper. And just stick one edge of the circle in place and after it's completely dry, you can go on ahead and wrap the strip of paper around the rest of the circle. Cut off the excess at the end and glue it in place and that way you will have a selection of several pots and pans. I'm using TLS on the inside and this is going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to help to blend the side or the wall to the bottom of the pan and the other is the extra um, liquid clay on the inside will help enforce the side walls. Bake them and then if you'd like to leave the finish as is for a copper inside finish you can just glaze it or you can do as I'm doing and that is I'm just using some of the silver paint on the inside um, for contrast. I flipped the pots and pans over and some of them had little indents on the outside so just to fill those in and then to even out the seam from where the paper meets the, the bottom um, I just filled it in with a little bit of liquid Fimo and I'm using liquid Fimo over TLS because it's thinner and it would flow to the parts that needed the help the most. And as you can see, the bottoms are very even. And I went over those with some copper paint that was a little different from the paper. So I bought it about a third of the way up the wall just for contrast as well. For the lids, you can use either a CD or DVD, stack coins glued together, or use as I'm using um, a sample from a the lid of a sample of conditioner, shampoo, lotion, whatever you have. And then I'm just going to emboss this paper to fit the, the inside of the lid using my ball tool. Don't worry about if the paper bends or bolt, folds up. Uh, it can be pressed down flat later. Right now you're just trying to get the general shape of the inside without tearing through your paper. It'll take a little practice, but you can do it. Once you've got the inside in, you can flip it over and press out the seam on the outside. Now because I emboss it, the paper is now thinner than the actual, um, or more narrow than the lid is, than the pot is. So I made another sheet of paper that was a little bit larger than the pot to go on top of it. And I did the same thing with the resin the resin to fit the inside of the lid and then I cut a clear plastic piece, piece to go on the bottom of this one. You can cut off the excess of the resin and sand it but don't glue it to the plastic yet because you're going to need to bake it for this next step which is applying a handle to the lid 
and I'm just cutting off small pieces of polymer clay to fit over the top and attaching it with liquid FEMA. You can also make this ahead of time and pre-bake it and then that way you can glue it in place. For the handles, I made two types. One was just metal bent into a little squared U and then curved down with some pliers as you see here and then I glued them in place. The other set of handles were tapers of clay that I pressed flat and then cut into shape using my ball tool and my knife. Pre-bake it and then you can file off any excess and then add a little more clay onto the flat side now. If you'd like to insert a piece of wire here to hold it, you can, and that way you can hang this um, pot or pan on the wall. I chose not to do that, so I'm just going to smooth the clay in place. Then you can bake it, glue it on, and paint it. Going back to the lid, you can attach the lid to the plastic piece with additional resin and coat the top and the sides with resin as well so it's one continuous piece. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!